Hi, my name is Rick Chin. I'm one of the co-founders here at Desktop Metal, and I'm leading the development of our software product called FabFlow. Now, if you run a model or a fabrication shop that produces 3D printed parts for internal or external customers, you're very familiar with the frustration of receiving bad models that have geometry that just will not print well for one reason or another. And that very frustrating or inefficient back and forth communication that has to occur between you and that customer to help explain what's going on or what's wrong with the model and how they might want to try and fix it. Well, wouldn't it be great if you had a tool that could automatically identify those printability issues based on the technology that you use in-house and then clearly communicate what those issues are in 3D to those customers? Well, as it turns out, those are capabilities that we've built right into our FabFlow product to help in those exact situations. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's start by uploading a model into FabFlow. Now, we'll start with the 3D viewer, and here I'm uploading a model that is an STL file. We take other standard file formats like STEP and IGES and native file formats like SOLIDWORKS, Pro Engineer. Uh, in total, there's 14 different file formats that we can read directly into FabFlow. As a 3D viewer, you have the standard capabilities you'd expect, like being able to measure, scale, reorient, cross-section your model, so you can basically have a good look at what this model is in 3D. But we're actually here to determine whether or not there are printability issues associated with this particular file. So, you see up here we have printing issues. Now if I go under settings, you'll see that we have a library or a range of analyses that we can do on a model. And the thing is, we've designed this to be versatile enough to support all the different 3D printing technologies, not just our own. So whether you're doing DMLS or FDM or SLA or BMD from Desktop Metal, the capabilities to analyze your model are all represented here. You simply tell the system, these are the things I don't care about, these are the things I do want you to look at, and these are the parameter values that I want you to use as you evaluate that model. Here we're telling the system, well, I want you to look for minimum walls that are less than a millimeter thick, and I want you to look for holes and pockets that are smaller than one and a half millimeters, or bosses or protrusions on the model that are, that are smaller than three. You can even do things like check for sharp angles, whether they're convex or concave. Uh, we also, in this particular situation, want to look for trap voids in the model, and maybe more importantly, are there trap supports? So those trap voids, do they have surfaces that, that require and actually end up being supported by support geometry, which we now can't get out of the model? That is something the system can identify. Here we've also told it, well, we've got a part that's top heavy and may fall over during the printing process. Identify the potential for that as well. As a part of this analysis, we could even specify what the self-supporting angle is for our process so that the system knows what surfaces need to be supported and where do the support volumes need to be created. So with that specified, I can ask the system to display our printability issues. You can see that it's validating the model, and here we have a legend that represents all the different types of analyses we'd like the system to do, and in this case, it's found four different printability issues of all the ones we've asked for. So as an example, we can see that we have walls that are thinner than one millimeter. So it'll not only show us, but it'll navigate to those issues on the model. I can see the slanted surface is probably necking up near the top, and that's where it's actually getting too thin for the nozzle to actually fit any material in. We also have an issue inside of the model. So let's do this. Let's actually create a cross section so you can see specifically what's going on. And sure enough, we have a wall here that's, again, less than a millimeter. Let's take advantage of the great communication and commenting tools that exist here in FabFlow. And I'm going to create a 3D snapshot and mark up the 3D model right here. So I'll create a note that indicates that wall needs to be made thicker. And then I'll add an arrow to point to that exact problem area. And we can add a title and it provide additional information. Let's look at some of the other printability issues. So we have a feature, right, a boss that's too small. Let's select on that. 
And we can see here we have a texture on the front of the putter that has features whose details might not come out given their size or the spacing between them. So let's actually, again, let's create a note to capture that and communicate it to others. Uh, and again, we'll provide a title to that. And the system provides a really nice way to navigate to those comments and it does it in such a way that you can always tell exactly where that particular issue is on the model. So now that we've captured these printability issues, we now want to communicate those to our internal customer or external customer. So to do that, what we'll do is select on the share tool, we'll indicate who this should communi be communicated to or shared with and we'll tell the system we'd like it to include these comments that we've just created. When we select share, they'll receive a link to this model. And if they're not currently using Fabflow, that's fine. They can just do the quick registration and gain access to the model and the exact information that you just provided. So, how do you take advantage of these great capabilities? Well, you go to dm-flow.com and you select on the sign up link. Again, you do the quick registration, and then all the capabilities I just demonstrated are now available to you, and they're free. So I hope you agree. Fabflow has some great capabilities to help you identify printability issues and communicating them to other people. We've actually designed this product to be one of the clearest ways to communicate in the 3D printing space. So go to dm-flow.com and try it out for yourself. And thanks for your time.